right we are getting into interesting territory let's destroy all the creatures because they are super annoying and let's get some lifelink shall we oh yeah the new demir power what's up bro like look at this stuff we invade the fiora oh boy this is so cool legendary oh it's such a shame that everything you have is legendary now we attack the battle and we get what's ours a victory demir control in the shape so cool Hello everyone, it's Love here and today I'm so happy to showcase you this deck because it seems that we are beating all the meta decks with this one and finally, finally, the Mir Control has a sweeper and it's even better than the normal sweeper. It can be a symmetrical sweeper, you will see how, like in the first game, you will see everything about this card. So for those that don't know, you this is a six mana sweeper and you can choose legendary creatures or non-legendary creatures, but you can also choose both. So you are guaranteed having a sweeper. And this is a battles, it has for, you know, loyalty, and then it transforms into the street six that you can pause, check all the abilities, but it's, it's just a big creature that gives you card advantage overall and can trigger more battles. The point is that for loyalty, uh, it's not loyalty, but you know, it's defense counters. They are exactly the, the number that you can hit with the Bangbuster. As we know, we are a control deck. We don't play a lot of creatures. We only have shorted air tie and some five drops to crew the Bangbuster. But when we do, it instantly hits or you just take the pilot and just hit it. And you can make some crazy plays with this, especially if you're opponent is playing legendary creatures other than this what about the new cards sure that five mana that basically forces your opponent to sacrifice a creature that matters because it's a non-token creature or just a planeswalker in case you are playing something like this and we know this kind of effect can be extremely good and so far i'm super happy with sure that you will see in some of the games especially with like geeks command man when this hits and menace helps to kill planeswalkers and you know be evasive it really makes a difference in some situations but when you hit with those two counters and sudden it's what six attack lifelinker man like you get back into the game so quickly and this defends very nicely because of the high toughness so they need to burn it quite a lot especially with the counters so this is the idea the rest of the deck is similar so we won't uh, waste too much time uh hidetsugu and kairi one of the new cards uh, i so this is not your typical synergy. We mostly want to cast either Invoke Despair, uh, Geek's Command, but the point is that you, when you lose this, so basically you brainstorm, put one or two Invokes Despair at the top, and if they try to kill it, you cast Invoke Despair for free. And this is such a tempo swing that you will get ahead in the game like crazy, very easy. So usually they just don't answer it because they know something scary will come. And this means that you have an extra creature, you untap, now you can protect it. And suddenly the game shifts in your direction. So, so far this card and sure that were absolutely great. And Invasion of Fiora, man, it feels so like, like, absolutely amazing to finally be able to board clear with the mirror man i missed it so much really cool really cool i hope you will like the games and let's enjoy the new set in full glory that's so freaking cool oh i love it wizards lately you've been doing really nice job uh back to magic right <laughs> do you have more animations like on the pow huh tail no pew pew Turn one scroll. Alright, so we don't really have a choice here, we don't have other place, but this works very nicely into Path of Perry, right? I'm not sure exactly what we are playing against. Esper Legends, I would assume. I mean, why would you play any of the new cards if you can just keep playing old cards, right? Makes perfect sense. Uh, so, this is 3 damage a turn, and he doesn't seem to be really wanting to attack us with this because he wants to protect whatever with Scrav. So far, the perfect curve. Yep, like you knew it would be the perfect curve all the way along. So that's why we have to keep, uh, keep the counter spell. Uh, this doesn't answer a thing. All right, question. Did I have Takenuma and I didn't play it? 
All right, I think I played it. I hope I played it. So what do we do? Do we sweep the board fully? Seems really good, doesn't it? Let's go. We probably don't get better deal than this. Yeah, you can protect your stuff if you want. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good start. Man, the mere, the mere control. It's so good to see the mere control again, man. So what do we do? We probably draw a card, right? Because we can sweep the board on... Oh my god, we can make a perfect sweeper, man. Easy, perfect sweeper without splashing white. That's so glorious. I'm I'm so happy. All right. Even more happy than opening the creepy pots, you know, from Fire Exia. But look at this, it's so it's so cool. It's exactly the Fire Exia. And our opponent is just having Danik into Danik gameplay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's draw the land, shall we? Path of Peril. Not perfect, is it? It's not perfect, is it? We can force him to pay two, so I think we can draw one of the cards. There is a chance we get the shore or something that is tapped and we want to play it. Alright, two mana up. Go for the throat, sure. We still need to be careful about the, our life. I'm not sure what the two mana instant is. Uh, legendary, legendary, it might be Otawara. Is it Otawara? I think it is. Or maybe some kind of counter spell, who knows. Adeline. Adeline, Adeline, Adeline. We're not guaranteed to draw a land, so we cannot play into the sweeper. Uh, is it Syncope to tap them out or just go for the throat? Go for the throat, they will get the clue. The clue is not perfect. All right, so we can either go into the sweeper fully or kill Adeline and slow the game down. If we hit the sweeper, it's basically no difference, right? Unless... Can I just Path of Peril this? This is converted mana cost too, man. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I should just shoot Path of Peril and kill the board, probably. I guess that would be just the optimal play. But we can do it right now. So he gets a little bit of value, but it's fine. Uh, the point is that now I have Syncope to answer the follow-up, and that might be huge. If he just draws a card, and we start over, and I still have my best sweeper here. And with the Bangbusters, I will be able to attack it, and the Marchisa, Resort Monarch, will probably close the game. Danik. I mean, do we even care? No, we don't. I can just make a vampire. Scrap. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? I have an idea. I think we can get some battle action. So the point, normally you open with this bangbuster and open the second one, and then you get the pilot, right? But the pilot is not legendary, so we can asymmetric. Oh my. Oh wow. This will be some mythic level gaming, man. Seriously, this will be ridiculously good. Do I care about this? You know what? I'm so excited, I'm, I don't even do it. Like, look at this stuff. We invade the Fiora. Oh boy, this is so cool. Legendary. Oh. It's such a shame that everything you have is legendary. Now, we attack the battle and we get what's ours, a victory. Demir control in the shape, so cool. And I mean, I will play it. It seems to be a good card. So we have one mana syncopate, it probably will miss. So maybe they will remove it, but we are in extremely good position and they're playing from very behind right now. Sure, you know, you can't get everything, but only two cards to go and we still have the Bangbuster. See, this is what I meant. One mana syncopate, best deal ever. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad for him. Ooh, it, it gets better for us. Oh, it gets so much better, man. 
I mean, Invoke Despair is really good against their deck. I mean, like, seriously, man, it's so good. I bring order to this and normally I go for the value, but I'm 10. At 10, I and just, let's own. just go like this. Like, time is on our side. And at some point he will play one creature, and then we get all the value of Despair and he will explode. Like, he, he cannot beat this value, I feel. He needs some kind of counter spells, and they don't play them. Yeah, and Sorin on the board, drawing cards at dance step with Bangbuster, like it gets worse for... Man, we are beating all the meta decks with this. Like Esper Legends. And what? Like the new Fire Axion Tribal? I think it's really strong. Like, it has so many different game plans, but we answered all of them so far. Right, Kitty Kitty? Yeah, shoot some ink. Yeah, yeah, show them. <laughs> Man, it's so fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this expansion, really. Alright, so, I mean, what is the play? I guess we can draw something. Reveal, sure. Play the tap land. Uh, go with Shorded, because it's scary. Very scary Shorded. And, I mean, I can go for the maximum damage. Uh, at the cost of the wasting those those counters and if something bad happens like a ganjo but yeah they're out of the game man this play with the battle that we already switched it was so epic it's a one-sided sweeper that also gives us extra creature and like he's so behind that he's out of the game all right going first with syncopate and the bankbuster that would be a good start man i'm so excited about shorted this card is so fun like, I always love this kind of effect. Five mana something on your side, and, you know, on the opponent's side, some kind of, uh, you know, destruction effect. So, go for the fraud, probably, and syncopates, right? We need to start the game a little bit, go into airtight, and then into shorted. What is it? When this enters the battlefield, incubate two, all right. Whenever a permanent control transforms into fire X and put a ca additional counter. All right, interesting. Interesting one. So we don't really want it to enter the battlefield and I think this is a good, good moment to go for the, uh, for the syncopate because this is a creature deck. So go for the fold will probably hit a bit more. Not optimal. Man, we are overdrawing bankbusters like crazy. Like two on the opening hand are norm on the draw. Alright, so this one will get through, but it can be a little bit slow. So let's see. He needs to pay two mana to activate it. The toxic has started though. We probably we, we need the land man. We really need the land. I think we still kill it. Like, we don't go for the value, we need to start a little bit game. Ertai Resurrected. So, it's either Bangbuster for the Shorded. But we lose a lot of tempo. I think we need to be equal. You can counter the Incubation, incubation uh, trigger, because this can counter activated ability, which this is. So he draws a card, but doesn't really get anything else. We could block it, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we better wait for the real play. Nothing. Huh. Emperor? No, he doesn't have double blue, uh, double white, right? So he probably just wants to transform it at dance step. I think this is the play. So in the end, I will play Ertai. We don't want to really destroy this to give him the card. And the real play is the Shorded. You know, it doesn't make insane difference, but having a 4-5 that potentially can win the game uh, is a big deal. Pile on. Alright, sure. We still get the effect, and he cannot activate the incubate things at the end step down. Oh, he also needed... what? Alright, oh, sacrifice effect. I assume that he will do some. It's fine, it's fine. Just love doing slow things. Uh, for some reason, I... Uh, it's fine. Let's go another with the game. Uh, he can attack with this, but of course we can block. So let's start with the Bangbuster. Let's play the round because we need a lot of mana. 
and we can play second bank buster to keep blocking so let's see the value what will we get he cannot activate the incubate Ooh, that's really good that really is good so this will be some issue let's let's play the bank buster i'm not sure if i will block with this and we are keeping our tie to crew the bank busters of course all right interesting that he did it on the end step like he can do it at the end, at any moment right maybe he won't oh maybe he wanted this to be bigger if in case we have a removal right maybe that's the play all right so this seems to be one of the meta decks right now and you know what i actually really enjoy the fact that something meta is actually interesting so menace so we cannot block we we take this hit and what will be a huge one because the patcher gives the menace to all the fire accents i believe uh fire accents to control yeah all right invoke despair is a good start it is a good start we could also just draw cards but this helps a little bit right kills this kills this what he, when does it go back sacrifice an artifact or creature for mana i mean we still get the cards right we paint ourselves just a little bit i think it's okay he cannot activate it because he has no mana then it would be much worse so that's why we're doing it now oh that's a card and we just force him to play another lord if he wants to keep hitting with the menace right it is scary though it definitely is scary we can sacrifice one of the bang busters all right so they burned the, the artifact and they invested their full turn into this one extra attack so you know it's fine it's fine the menace goes through unfortunately cannot block and cannot draw cards throwing cards would be absolutely amazing if we hit like removal that would be <laughs> i mean i have i i think i've seen this one so let's play this card because i think it can be extremely hard for him to deal with all right is this invoke despair or path of peril i think we can cast it for like you know without paying mana cost and it's a perfect sweeper however if he attacks we probably just want this uh let's go like this maybe and this goes on top so when this dies you we get some value did we play land for the turn no attacks we didn't i think we should because we can draw extra card let's just not draw in response to anything so <laughs> when this dies we get the effect right all right that's fine it will be scary but we have path of peril one of the things you need to remember about this kind of gameplay is that they are basically flesh creatures right but he cannot attack anymore and with this we can start doing some cards so yeah he avoided the invoke despair but he lets us stabilize and that's even better and now i can play a lot of stuff this is five mana cost this is four mana cost and this is one and two seems pretty good so he can sacrifice both of them this will be even bigger but we did i tap wrong no okay i need a lot of mana i don't think there's any way i could do it to cast invoke despair after this that would be a great turn for it by the way so he gets all the value back in a way but we force the board to be extremely uh, lenient he can do it again he can absolutely do it again but we have three creatures potentially so that makes it easier sorcerer speed removal instant so i think we draw now i think this is the plan uh, so do we start attacking him i don't think so with all the bang busters we can just be defensive and outvalue him very quickly the menace is a is a menace though <laughs> truly six all right 
So he needs to lose some creatures and we definitely will help him in this. If he attacks we can just block and get a random card from the top. He might be scared to give us this. We definitely burn the treasure, we need to keep drawing cards. I think we should win this game, man. I mean, we, we are just playing a lot of invokes at this point. Uh, I would love some sweeper. The new battle would be absolutely amazing. So, how do we do it? If we play this, he drains us, right? And he sacrifices this one, we draw a few cards. It might be good. It might be good. Like, he needs to go for the whiteboard, otherwise he cannot really attack us. And this is the this is the card. Very nice. Do we attack? I think we attack once. We have the pilot. He cannot activate this, and this cannot be black mana for like removal because they are not fire accents. So I think he cannot kill us and he might invest into this to just overwhelm our board. But then we go for the throw this and that will be a bit slow. All right, two mana and the Lord, right? So it seems to be perfectly far for him probably, but it won't, I think. Let's see. Oh, he sacrificed this one. That's an interesting one. We have interesting plays because we can remove the mana. Oh no, they get the manas, right? How does it work? You control game manas, even if it dies, they still have the manas. So I think what we want to do is get rid of the biggest creature. Painland? Alright. Cool. So he can sacrifice this one, but then he doesn't really get any value. And he stepped out, so he cannot use this uh, token that he will get. It's a 6-6, six, six, but you still need to have it. And now Menace doesn't really do anything, because we have two creatures that, that can block and we can just trade. So I think we won. I think we won. Let's go with this one, because then we can activate the pilot on the next turn and create a lot of attack. Black mana that doesn't pain ourselves. Uh, can we double invoke? No. So we might as well draw a card. Activate second bank buster. And now we go full aggression mode, man. Like, it, it seems that this, this didn't do too much, but the fact that he feared to kill it, like, gave us so much room in this game. And we still kill him with Invoke Despair from the top. Whatever you do, it's just not good against this card. It's always like putting you behind in a way. All right, I really like this one so far. All right, guys, going second with Syncopate Bankbuster. Definitely not our perfect play. <laughs> and it's, it's Mono Red. Is anyone pl even caring about the new cards or everyone is just, you know, making mountains into ice mark your face? Oh, boy. Uh, so, for example, in this turn, we really want to syncopate whatever is going on. Uh, hopefully, it's Squid that would be really perfect target. We need some more interaction. I mean, it's it's as good as it gets, right? It it seems a bit slow. Maybe it's more of a spell-based version. Uh, I would love to not draw triple bankbuster against Monoret on the draw, if that's a possibility. Are there more animations? Ura, all right. That's some, that's some respect level earns. So, uh, we definitely kill it. <laughs> uh, it's too scary, we don't want to read it, and we won't. So, the question is, do we go with the Bangbuster and just attack their face? Or try to save it for the fence? That's the question, I'm not sure what we are playing against. This seems to be a lot of burn spells com combined with Ura Brask. Probably. So maybe, just maybe, we want to be aggressive. I might regret it, but smirking the face, decent play. See, you can get to Mythic by just knowing this strategy. Just smirk. Oh, that's good. We will know some extra spells. So they can kill Ertai, but it's not much value. And if we can start getting without... Oh, all right. So this will hurt. 
that the next turn will hurt. I mean, really hurt. Alright, maybe we need to kill them faster than they kill us. Maybe that's the play for the day. Um, I mean, it would be easier if we drew something that is more controlish instead of just train of bankbusters and land and one Erta and one counter spell. But at least we are even. Uh, up until now, we were holding. Now we will see. The point is that he wants to burn our fairies, but we are winning the race. We are burning him for four a turn with no cards. And that's good because we can still play. This is extremely good draw, but what can you do? Yeah, you know, just really good at magic. We could Otawara this if we really cared. You know what? Uh, my high hand is such a quality that I will actually go for their time. It makes their game plan much harder, right? And they cannot just do nothing. Oh, maybe play with fire. Okay, that's fine. That's a lot of burn that went into, you know, answering <laughs> quality content. <laughs> All right, we could hit their face, but we want extra tempo. They have some expensive cards. I think this is full deck of burn, draw win cards and for Urabrasks and for war Warfers, right? All right, they will burn us like crazy at the end step, man. Okay, that's, that's something. Let's see it. How much damage can you dish out? Oh, I would love to counter it. Okay, this, I like the deck though. It's pretty fun. Negate, absolutely amazing. So, we can counter three spells. And I want to keep pressuring them by, you know, no, using bankbusters when they fizzle the turn, basically. We have negate, so it's a bit easier on this turn. And we just need to keep hitting clans, keep hitting clans, keep hitting clans, thank you. And on the next turn, we will activate double bankbuster. That's no joke. So they are under a lot of pressure right now. And we can counter three of their plays. That's huge. So let's start. They cannot use the festivities of the end step because it's a sorcery. So if they want to remove the pilots, they need to go one for one. That's not exactly what they want. We still get some treasures, cool stuff. And eight damage to the face is no joke. And they realize that they cannot kill us in time because we just have more power in the board than them. All right, going first, remove our Celestus into Shorded. You love to see it. Right. That's the main idea. And we really like the Celestus because we have... Here we are. Some people just <laughs> are unaffected by the new set. I mean, fully unaffected. I know, I know. It's fine. It's great. So, the animation. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. It's ink. <laughs> because they do the inky stuff. Alright, our opponent is playing the same magic since months, while we are having a little bit of fun. So, of course, I know it's it's hard to get all the new cards, but you probably would love to at least try. And, you know, it's not like the set is a surprise, right? Alright, enough. Uh, we go for the throat. We play Celestus, we ramp into Shorted. That hopefully that will be enough, and we'll see if that's enough. And that's a land that changes a little bit. This will be a rough turn, but if we can survive it... Man, if we can survive it and play the new Shorter, this this was the card that I was the most excited for, for some reason. Like, it, I, I've been such a fan of, you know, all those sacrifice effects. It will be non-token, so he needs to still lose one of those cards. Uh, we could also go Geek's Command, but this is better. Non-token, very important part, because if th that was token, it would be really not relevant. But right now it's much, much better. And we'll see how we play. Uh, he, if he plays Raiju, we just can go Geek's Command, clear the board, give the lifelink to the Shorted. It has menace, or she has menace, and that's really good against Planeswalkers. Our opponent living his best life of smirking the face, whatever the set is. Uh, one mana. They wasted the mana as well, so it seems to be like this. I don't think there is a trap here. If there is a trap, I deserve to fall for it. Unless it's a strangle. 
the stronger would be the only punishment, but I still think it's worth the risk. So, I mean, <laughs> all right, we're getting into interesting territory. Let's destroy all the creatures because they're super annoying. And let's get some lifelink, shall we? Oh, yeah, the new Demir power. What's up, bro? 14. No planeswalkers, no board, Celestus that will cycle all of this stuff. And yeah, we won't get into those 8 cards, right? But he will probably play Squee for his full turn. And then we start to be defensive, we'll probably start cycling with Celestus. But man, this 6 life game, it made a huge difference. And let's start doing some stuff, right? So we won't hit the Gravers, unfortunately, in this matchup. We could pressure them, but with Syncopate and Celestus, I don't think that's the play. Man, if we can beat Monored with Demir, that's uh, that's a good one. That's absolutely a good one. We also live gain. We have Invasion. Don't forget, this is legendary. This is an asymmetrical sweeper because you can kill all the non-legendary creatures. Squee is legendary, but the rest of his deck is probably not. All right, another creature. Pesky pesky creatures. And we will definitely block this one. We can start pressuring quite a lot, so I wonder if he wants to kill Shorlet or just tries to kill one of the creatures. Alright. Some high quality math. Oh boy, they really, really want this Shorlet down. Don't they? Don't they? And we say no, because we are a control player and we like crushing Monored Dreams. Man, they invested three cards into this. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I'm enjoying the new set so far. Alright, they double spell so we get even more life gain. Oh, Monored didn't like it. Maybe you should try some new cards. And the guys, it's fine, it's just kind of joke, but you know... I wouldn't go for Monoret on this day, like every other deck makes more sense to be honest.